you've you hit one millions. Mm. You're doing four hundred k a month. It feels like you hit them at quite a young age. Mm. Reference? How old are you? Uh, Twenty two. How did Amazon FBA start and walk us through the journey? Bro, seventeen years old. I moved out on my own. I was doing whatever I had to do to make a bit of bread, and mm -hmm. I was in trouble. Being told I'm not going to any college because I ain't gonna get the grades. My parents were exhausted after all the stress that I put them through. People are getting money a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah. So what would be your advice to them so they don't make the same mistakes that you did? Complacency is a big killer. Mm. Big killer killed me. Wow. Nearly killed me. Wow. We're getting back. We're rebuild, rebuilding. Bigger than we've ever been. But that's because I got back in the trenches. So to anyone right now watching this right now thinking, hold on, he's done so much. Can I do this too? Yes, you can. What do you need to do though? You need to work on your mindset. You need to work on how you set your mind because your mind sets your future. My purpose is to be able to put everyone on level playing field. That's everyone deep. Knows. The life you want to live sits behind the work you really don't want to do. From the outside, it looks amazing. But from the inside, you're saying when or fail. Again, like I say, long story short, I got trigger happy back up there. So my thought was I can spend it because it's coming back. Right. And one day it didn't. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having an amazing, purposeful day. Now, my name is Robert Klutze, but as my good friend will always say, it's mm. not about us. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep it short and sweet like my good self. Mm. My name is Robert Klutze and I want to pass it to my brother, Jono. How are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are we doing? My name's Jonathan, and as Rob said, it's not about us today, it's man. It's not, man. Oh, welcome to season three. Come on. And we've got a special guest in the building, Come and on. I'm going to hand it back to my good friend in front of me, Robert. Well, we'll we'll, we'll go back and forth like, I don't know, who we'll go back and forth like, bro, like LeBron and... And Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Jerry. We spoke about them the we other did, day as well, did, yeah? We did. I'm about to say LeBron, I don't watch basketball like that. But anyway, it's not the point. The point Ooh, of the matter is... Pippin and Jordan. Who's that? That's old school, bro. Old school um, Scotty NBA. Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Scotty it's Pippen NBA. and Jordan. Yes, bro. Michael Jordan. If you know, you know. Jordan. If you know, you know. If but you know, you know. we're not here for basketball. I don't even... I don't watch that. <laughs> you watch that? No, not yet. I play it. Okay, cool. That's it. Well, anyways, guys, we're here for a big episode today. And this episode here in particular has probably been a year and a half in the waiting. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while still. So but without further ado, let us introduce this man with the right standard. So... Welcoming Jack Amazon Club. He's weighing in 170 pounds, full of muscle, but he is currently the Gen Z Entrepreneur of the Year. Come on. There's a lot of Gen Zs, you know. Yeah. Entrepreneur of the Year. Number one. He also has the number one mm. biggest Amazon mentorship program Sheesh. in the world, which is amazing. He said to us just a minute ago now, in terms of reviews, he has times three more than the next person who does what he does. And last but not least, not only is he helping himself, but most importantly, as we always say, Life's about serving other people. Mm -hmm. Him, through helping other people, has amassed and enabled other people to make over fifty million pounds in sales in the last two years alone. Deep that fifty million pounds in sales in the last two years alone by the skill sets which he has learned. But guys, without further ado, today after one and a half years in waiting, Mister Jack Amazon Club, welcome to Purpose Led. Round of applause! Round of applause! There we go. You know what? When he said that, I was thinking, I remember the two times I blew up. Do you know what it is? It's good that I've been in the... How mad is that? We cut it close. Booked it for today and I'm yeah. going away tomorrow. The past wow. two times, I was, I was gone. I was yeah. away. Yeah, no. Do you, you said to me, Rob, this time here, I promise you I'm going to yeah, be here. Yeah. Yeah. And you did. You made it happen, man. But how you doing, man? I'm not bad. I'm yeah? not bad. Actually, actually, I lied. I'll be real. I'm run down. Mm. Tired, exhausted. Mm. Mm. With a bit of money in my pocket. That's I like it. that. That's I like okay. that. I like that. That's Do you know what? It's interesting you said that, you know, because isn't it interesting how, as people, our first automatic response is, I'm good. Yeah. What is or, good? or not bad. Not bad. I'm not, good, I'm bad. not bad. But yeah. what does that actually mean? Yeah. But then I like how you went deeper. Why are you tired? Just life's busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's busy. There's a lot of things going on. Mm. Um, you know, from the external, it looks nice. On my social media pages, it looks good. The yeah. Way, the stuff that we enjoy, but yeah. obviously a lot of people don't see behind that and uh, can take its toll sometimes, you know? So for me, I'm in the building phase right now. I'm trying to lay out a future. I'm trying to lay out g generational wealth. And yeah. It's not coming easy, as mm. expected kind of thing, you know. So the um, last few months have been a ride, man. Big wow. fucking ride. But, um, but yeah. Isn't it interesting, though, how social media, you wouldn't even know that. Mm. Like we spoke we spoke when I saw you a month and a half ago. You told me, like, Rob, I've been really going through a season right now where I'm, like, come making my team a lot smaller because mm. I have to make sure people around me are good people. Mm. How's that been? Because, bro, we don't see that at all on social media. It's, that's a tough one for me because, f for me... I'm a 110% person, yeah. So yeah. No matter who you are, whether we're sat on a podcast together, whether we're working together, whether we're just ch chilling off somewhere at a beach or a bar. Yeah. Know. For me, I'm a 110% person. So if if you're working with me, then mm. you're working with me. But 
if you need if you need help with something, if you if your if your grandma needs help taking a I don't know sofa down the stairs or you got some trouble, yeah. I'm the kind of person to be there 110 percent regardless of where we are in the main capacity. Mm -hmm. I'm that's kind of kind of person I am. I'm a 24 hour person. I saw mm -hmm. that on the video mm -hmm. uh, once upon a time. I don't know if you know what that is 24 hour person. What, always there. Yeah, yeah, always there. Basically, mm -hmm. that's that's how I like to see myself and um and I like to I like to for example even if it's an employee I like to still be that kind of individual for them mm -hmm. as well um but it's not always reciprocated so yeah it's yeah. not always reciprocated it's not always the other way around you know so yeah the team's gotten a little bit smaller um after a few bumps in the road a few you know harsh times but um ultimately it's two steps back two steps back to go three steps forward Come but on. it's been um yeah it's been a it's been a bit of a bit of a chopping season I'll be real yeah damn what's the biggest thing you learned because this is something obviously I know the number you've done are amazing, but I believe everyone who's watching this right now, everyone is really can relate to the fact where you have to cut people off to grow. What's the biggest things you've learned about yourself? And so, and just before that as yeah, well, yeah. you said the numbers that you've done, but I don't mm. think we've gone over the numbers yet. Do you mind sharing a couple? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Amazon, we're doing a few million a year now. So, so I'll be, I'll be straight up. At the moment, right now, online selling products, not even, that's not mentoring courses, nothing like that. Online selling products, we're doing about 400,000 a month right now. Wow. Um, margins on that at this moment in time. I'm gonna show you lot after, but yeah. can't say it publicly right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we we've landed on some gold, and it's it's been wow. really really good. Mm -hmm. it's been keeping me busy, but mm -hmm. um, big big profits on that as well. That's man. amazing, like, ridiculous. So um, so that's that's kind of numbers we're doing right now. But where I found myself was when did we speak at um was it the uh the event in is it Camden? Yeah, yeah. Was that what was that four weeks ago? Yeah, like about a month ago. About bro. a month ago. See, that's when the team got shaped in half. I remember since, you telling me. And since then. Actually, no, it, kind of, it was about two, three months ago that the team got kind of shaved in half, like, mm. completely. Yeah. And then, uh, so the team's smaller, but the, the workload's so much bigger. E. That's why, for me, I'm like, and I'm not rushing into bringing more people on board because I need mm. to make the right choice. Yeah, that's right not, people. That's, yeah. That is never anything I'm ever going to just go, yeah, fine, we'll do it yeah. again. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's been a bit of a tough one. But, yeah, so we're doing those numbers and with half the team that we originally had. So it's been a bit of a strain on resources. Put it that 100%. Way. But, yeah, no. Thank you for that, by the way, bro. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the question, like, how have you dealt with? How has it been for you mentally having to cut people off like that? Mm -hmm. Because it's tough, bro, man. Like people you've ridden with for years having mm -hmm. to cut them off like that. How has that been for you? It's tough. Mm. It's tough because I feel like people don't people don't and still won't see what you do for them a lot of the time. Mm. Um, they don't see what it take what it takes out of your life to to help people and support them and what they're doing. Mm. I think. So certain scenarios, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. It's, it's tough to speak about as well. To be fair, because yeah. you hold a lot of love for people. That's the kind of person I am. Mm. But um, it's tough because these people you you build with, you grow with. You, you know, when I like I say, I'm 110. percent When I sit there, I go like, this individual, I've got them. Mm. I've got their back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Do you know what I mean? That's how yeah. I, that's how I roll. And when situations arise where it's like, okay, this is gonna kind of have to cut now because it's not working anymore. It's like, oh, like it's like Cuts. a knife. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know for me, in every situation, every relationship, I don't always get it right, but I do my best to do so. Come on, do you know what I mean? Um, so like, it's one of them ones where I feel like I gave so much, so much, so much, so much, and this is a lot of things as well. Um, in all aspects of life, not just business, but you give so much, and you just feel like it's never really appreciated. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, but then again, obviously, you know, making the team smaller, you got you got to push forward and and um, and regroup. That's so interesting that you say it's never really appreciated. Sometimes when you put stuff out there, mm. it doesn't get reciprocated. Mm. And funny enough, I don't. I haven't even told you. I told the boys. Uh, mm. By the way, Jake's here as well. Jake, Jake's Jake, back man. here. Big up Jake. Big I was Jake, just telling man. Jake and Jack as well when Rob was off. I think you were just getting the key for the room and stuff. Yeah. I actually had my first therapy session today. You know what I'm saying? That was the first therapy session today. How was it? It was good, bro. Yeah. I learned, bro, in that hour, bro, I learned a lot about myself. Bro, I like, bro. <laughs> I remember last this time last year, bro. <laughs> we were at our other studio, bro. Yeah. At a session, and then John just saw me just like this in the, in the, in the room. I left the room. <laughs> yeah, Rob was having a session, like his first, I think, was it like your first early second, one? Early one. Early, early one, was, yeah. At like one of his first therapy sessions. I just come back in the room, Rob just like this. <laughs> you deep your whole life. You deep your whole life. He was like, bro. I yeah. said, I said, what? He's like, bro, I'm decompressing right now. What just happened? I'm like, what? Like I'm I'm here thinking he's just talked to somebody for like an hour. I'm like, we talk all the time. We talk yeah. on a camera for an hour. Like you never like this after we yeah, talk. Yeah. But it's a different type of vibe. Mm. And then what you said there about like wanting to feel appreciated mm. by other people, that's something that I've realized that 
I feel as well. Mm. Like I like if I do X, I'm trying to you know what I'm saying I'm trying to at least see that you're appreciative for X mm. in Y. But like is that. that something that <laughs> you like that one as well? Is that something that you've discovered through therapy or like through anything like that? Because we spoke about something like that earlier. Yeah, therapy and working on yourself is is mm. a big thing in my eyes. It's something I neglect, but I also. I neglect, but I don't neglect it as as much as the regular human being. If right. that makes sense, I'm I'm very aware of of the, the therapy and and learning and reading and mental health and mental wellness is so important. And I'm probably more aware than the average person, but being more aware than the average person, I do a bit less than I should really be doing. But mm. yeah, 100 percent understanding understanding how your body works and how your um how why you tick why you tick is really important. And maybe these situations here where I feel like I've been cut with a knife. I know exactly where that goes back to because I have done a, a cognitive behavioural therapy. I thought I was doing it a lot when I was younger as well when I was getting kicked out of schools, anger management. And just to tell people, what is cognitive behavioural therapy? Do you know what? I'll be real. Yeah, I know the, I know the big words, but I just believe it's 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 digging into the brain and rewiring the brain. I right. believe or ho- helping you understand the behaviours of your brain and why okay. in certain ways. I think that's it. Got you. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Um, but, but that's probably just from my personal experience of what I've got from it. But um, I used to have it back in the day and, and it would help me understand why I'm reacting in certain ways. Why mm. When someone does certain thing, it sends me a certain way mm. or wherever it may be. Why sometimes I sit there and I'm agitated in class or whatever. So I used to have it quite a lot when I was younger. And funny enough, that helped me a lot through or to start learning, understanding myself when I was younger. And then coming into the world of business, one of the first places I turned to help was, right, I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling a lot right now. I went back to that same person who used to help me out when wow. I was full 13, 13 years old. Yeah. I went back to him at 20 and I've gone straight up, mate, I've made my first million pounds. Um, I can't believe I've done it, but I feel like. Mm. Question, right? Did you, not, did you think that you'll get to one million pounds at the, at the rate you did? And do you plan for it? I don't know how you can plan for it, but did you plan for it? <laughs> <It's good. laughs> no, nah, nah, I didn't plan for it. No, nah, I didn't plan for it. No you way didn't did plan I for plan it. for it. I f***ing wanted it bad. Enough. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted it. Like it was For me, again, another thing I've learned about myself is I'm very obsessive. Mm. I'm very obsessive. If I, But that's not a good thing. It's not, well, okay, sorry. It's not a good thing sometimes. It's like a double-sided, a double-edged sword? Yeah. Double-edged yeah. sword, Something yeah. bad happens and I'm... Boom, I'm focused on it. I'm, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But when something's on my mind that I want I'm, it's like a bone and a dog I'm on it like <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm on it bad um, and I was just obsessed with a few things I got my driver's license enjoyed driving I'm like cool I want a nice car Yeah. Um, started eating nice food yeah. actually I say that it was like 20 for me and the missus it was a 20 pound um, set menu at Hakkasan and I've done that once and I'm like yeah 20 pound menu at Hakkasan yeah 20, 20 pound set menu two courses for 20, 21 99 or something I'm thinking yeah wow Ooh, what Hakkasan was the, I've, I've never been in it so I don't know the prices I've just Literally, heard I'm it I'm working at Tesco now yeah and I'm like cool yeah I'm saying to the missus yeah we're going Hakkasan later yeah um, you, must have felt, you must have felt like the bad yeah, <laughs> big hacks wait hold on so you were working were you working at Tesco's okay I think we need to get a little bit of a yeah, timeline yeah yeah, yeah cool. right so oh, no, we, no we will we will oh, we, oh, we will, will. No, we will. No, okay about, yeah, okay no. Rob's gonna type back in I was gonna ask you before we even get to that point because I know right now we're just flowing about like the mental health and stuff which very important one question we always like to ask our guests I'm talking about mental health and I'm talking about Hakkasan <laughs> <laughs> That's what but it's real about. though man we're just flowing man hope yeah. you guys are enjoying it too man but yeah, yeah. one question we always like to ask our guests before we even get to the timeline right because that's still that's still very important yes sorry you got your question yeah, yes yeah. our question our question our right? question yeah if this, was a cha- if this was a chapter in your life this part of your life right now in your book what would it be called and why right now this chapter yeah it's called crunch time ooh nice this is this is this is, this is this is win or fail right now. Mm. Win or fail? Mm. Wow. That's what I'm at right now. So crunch time, win or fail. Mm. What makes it like that? What makes it crunch time and win or fail? Mm. It's a it's a it's a mental battle. Mm. It's an internal thing. It's not an external thing. Right. Externally of realistically, if you look to my situation right now, you'd probably be like, Okay, you're not really gonna fail. But for me that's the that's what the internal is telling me. Mm. So for me it's the the mental battle of this is getting tough. Right, so how the situation is this. I just told you we're making more money than ever. To be fair, we're making more money than ever. But the way the business is going, the way costs are climbing, the way everything else is going, and the things I want, it's there's more work now than ever, mm-hmm. and there's less... Okay, put it this way. Before I'm spending, 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 fine, no problem. As I got more expensive responsibilities, staff, etc., cetera, um, units, pre- premises, the pressure's much higher. So I'm making a lot more money now, but a lot of the time with e-commerce, you're putting it back in, and you're putting it back in, and more time I put on that, the less time I'm on other businesses, and I've got multiple business opportunities. Mm. So right now I'm like, mm. I'm like, 
and mm. and for me it's it's manageable mm. it's manageable it's only manageable if it's very slow i don't do slow right so for me right now it's an internal of like oh, i don't want to do this right now i need to fuck, i need to go for a month man i need to go for a month and just i need to i need to go for three months and just reset mm -hmm. but i can't do that mm. so that's why for me i'm like it's like crunch time it's like there's a lot of pain a lot of struggle right now yeah. a lot of stress right now but i got hit for it got question it. right see within your team Who's helping you manage this? Because obviously, I'm, I'm assuming like it must be like um, obviously you as a leader, and then like well, like a COO, COO, yeah. yeah you know, like who's helping you manage this? To be fair, Jake helps me hold it all together. Shout out, Jake. Man. But you see, when feet on the ground isn't the problem. Yeah. Like I say, a lot of it's internal. And, okay. and for me, I've always again another thing. I've always just had this thing of when that when it's when it's internal, I keep it there. I'm not I'm not stressing my people with that. I'm not okay. stressing my family. I'm not stressing my my boys with that. I'm not stressing anyone with that. Yeah. That's that's for me to do with, do you know what I mean? And it's not it's not the right way. And anyone listening out there, that's never the right way. Yeah. Always, always you speak, know, speak, speak to people. But it's something I've just always struggled with. But um, I've got the help and support with it 100%. But I think me putting certain standards on people around me and expecting them to do things in certain time frames is wrong. Do you know what I mean? So I'm also a little bit held back with it because I don't want to up the stress of people around because I, I bring a lot of stress into the work environment. Mm. And... Um, and yeah, so yeah, I've got I've got I've got feet on the ground. I've got a great team. I've got Jake, got Brandon, running both sides of the business. They are Amazing. unbelievable. They're brothers, by the way. Oh, um, oh they're brothers. Yeah, yeah. They're like, brothers, oh, bad. Jake and Brandon, yeah, absolute legends, mate. And and shout out Jake and be, Brandon. Would not be where we are without them, honestly. They've wow. helped, helped, helped us hold it together since mm. the start, really, and and really systemize it. But um, and that's all well and fine. But for me, it's like a lot of other battles that I'm like fighting, and I'm like, cool, I need to do this in this time frame, get it right. Don't. Up. Mm. I've got to prove people wrong I've got to do this do you know what I mean and it's uh, yeah it's a lot of conflict so let's break it down man because from the outside you've you hit one millions mm. you're doing 400k a month mm. from the outside it looks amazing mm. but from the inside you're saying win or fail it's tough man and it's an, it sounds like an internal battle as well it's just, I feel like there's a lot that you keep to yourself mm. Like a lot that you keep because you don't want to give it to other people because it make them feel heavy like how you feel heavy. I'm assuming that's one way to describe that's it. That's exactly it. Yeah, I mm. couldn't have said it better myself. Wow. It's like, if it's mine, it's mine. I can fight it, bro. Mm. I've fought bigger things than this before, bro. Trust me, I can I can fight it. I don't need to put it on someone else because mm. I, I know, based on my experiences, and again, things I've helped learn through people I've speak, spoken to and had help from, is that one day this is going to be a bump. So yeah. why am I going to let it affect me? Do you know what I mean? Why, why am I, I don't, well, more to the point, it affects me now, but why am I going to let it affect the people around me when in a year's time, it's going to be a diff different problem. It's going to be another thing. That's the circle of life, right? That's so interesting. Because like things sometimes, they'll look like a mountain, like literally in front of you, they'll look like a mountain. But then what you, what you literally just explained is that when you have that longer term perspective, when you look back, it's just a bump. Mm. And then when you're going through it, it looks so big, but when it's back, it's... But then for you to be able to see the mountain from the future perspective of that bump that's big bro yeah but then that's, that's a powerful. lot of, that's a lot of it's powerful but it's a lot of stress on you bro yeah, yeah it's, it's easier said than done yeah there's there's certain hours or times in the day where i'll just completely forget the future and just look at everything right now and just be like man without, without going to too much detail what are the things which are like oh my god there's just so much going on right now mm. you see when when you start it when you're doing it it's your baby right yeah and like i said i'm lucky to have a few around me who really do help and support but but you see, when it's your baby, it's like I don't know. It's it's a, it's a weird it's a weird complex in your brain. But sorry, run run the question again. Run the question. So my question, what was my question again? <laughs> you, said, I, you know, I just flo I, I just say stuff and I just flow in. Yeah, yeah, and I just go off. I don't know why I even you said, said. You said like there's so much going on right now. What are, like the key things about going into team? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, brother. Um, wait, what are the key things of? So you said you're dealing with a lot of things right now. What are the key things you're actually dealing with? <sighs> For right now, it's financial. Mm financial because of mistakes i made in the past yeah yeah um again like i say long story short yeah i got to, i got i got trigger happy back in the day mm. big bread big bread big bread oh, i was in you were spending a lot yeah mm. trigger happy man spending so much money like i'm not even gonna tell you like you'll you it's that bad you'll slap me i swear really um, but but it's fine so my thought was i can spend it because it's coming back right and yeah. one day it didn't wow and then it was like mm, okay so it's build, been building that. That's a cliff up. right there, you know. <laughs> that's, that, you that's know. a cliff. Justin, <laughs> you, know. you heard? You heard? <laughs> that was Justin, good. Justin's like editor. Big up, Justin. Man. Big up, Justin. That's a cliff. Right. So you tell, you're tell saying, yeah, you spent so much money, think it was going to come back, mm. and then one day it didn't. And then one day it just didn't. What was that? Why did it not? I was, I was caught up in a lifestyle, man. I was I was away 
five, six months of the year, just spending, drinking, spending, drinking. And whilst the business was great and it was paying, it was also being, it was detrimental in the meanwhile, because the, I think the compound effect of not doing much comes at once. Mm. It's like, okay, this month's fine. Okay, cool. Month one, messing about's good. Made, still made the same money. I'm going to mess up, mess about next month then. Mm. Month after, fine. Right, month after that, that's not as bad, but still, still a lot of money. Cool. Yeah. We're good, we're good. Month, next month. And then two months later, all back in business and it's like, oh, sh- who's bringing the fruits? Damn. And that was, that was a big kick up. So it's been a rebuild. There's been a big rebuild. Re- yeah. rebuild. I'm, I'm blessed to have a situation like that where I've been able to learn, mm. been able to learn the right way of holding myself. I, I got it out of my system as well, mate. Don't get me wrong. I had a good, like, good time. <laughs> I had a really good time like with all of it. The, 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 the supercars, everything like that. Mm. Bro, I've done it all, which yeah. is cool. But now I can, I can turn and reset on the bigger stuff and be more sensible with it. So yeah. I'm glad I didn't get to 10 million and lose it. Wow. Yeah. I got to a million and spent a lot of it. Yeah. Well, one million, two million, whatever. Now I'm like, cool, I've been given a second chance. I'm gonna now hear a bit harder, but not harder, ju- not just harder, much smarter as well. Mm. That is amazing. That's amazing. I, oh, just like a quick, I know, because we're gonna go into the time, yeah, like the time scale, like the timeline or whatever. But there's one thing I'm thinking now for the people who, because there's a lot of kids that watch this. I say kids, but like people just around like early twenties or whatever, even late twenties that are making a lot. Will be your advice to them? Good enough question, bro. Like they just got into money, like they're yeah, just yeah. getting it because it's it's these days it's getting a lot. <laughs> easier mm. it's, keep, people are getting money a lot quicker yeah, yeah. so what would be your advice in them so they don't make the same mistakes that you did people yes I hope you're enjoying today's episode Jeez. this is just a small interjection Big one we wanted to say very very quickly mm-hmm. we don't ask for anything nothing and this is the only thing like, we, we haven't asked for anything before <laughs> but this is the only thing we're going to be asking for please can they do what Robert guys if you have not already please leave a like and a comment trust me it helps us out help a friend help a friend guys mm. you don't know what your like or comment or share could do to help someone else's journey of purpose i know it can help other people find these videos and help them with their lives as well so people i hope you enjoy the rest of the video big love let's go do you know what i'd say like keep your feet on the ground Mm. keep your feet on the ground things can change quick Mm. you need to you need to be like it's it's an energy thing and this and and it might sound a bit weird maybe i've i don't think i've ever heard anyone explain it this way before but but money is an energy thing because when you first start getting it it's because you put so much into doing so, so much into doing so. But it's an actual energy thing. Like for me, when I've put my heart and soul into something, when I smash it hard, when I do da 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 whatever, the big numbers will come, mm. right? But when the big numbers come and you get complacent with it, that same hungry, that hungry lion energy is just not there. Do you know what I mean? And that's when things start going downhill. So what I would say is take the money and appreciate it but always remember to build that hunger, but don't get complacent. Mm. Don't get complacent because complacency is a big killer. Mm. Big killer. Killed me. Wow. Nearly killed me. Wow. wow. You know, we're here. We're getting back. We're rebuilding. rebuilding bigger than we've ever been. Mm. Which is good. Smarter than we've ever been with more future ahead, but that's because I got back in the trenches. Mm. For every minute you're not in the trenches, mm. you're, going back, you're going downhill. I promise you that. That's one thing I've learned. And, and I see it as well. Like I'm thinking, why does Warren Buffett still work his arse off? all the time why do these big rich people still work their ass off all the time because they're always in the trenches mm. that's the that's the that's the formula as soon as you jump out it's downhill True. I'm backwards that's the that's one bit of advice I'd say stay in the trenches don't mm. get complacent spend it enjoy it get the thing get the things you want 100% but don't expect to be living your whole life off one off one bit of good well of one bit of hard work Wow. Got to stay. And then, and then, just literally, just like a no, please, bro. Just a, like what? Okay, on a lighter note, favorite car that you got? <laughs> that's that's, that's the first question. That's the <laughs> first job question. Car that you got? Because you said you wanted to like when you when you got your license, you're like, okay, yeah, cool. I'm a mm. I'm a driver now. Mm. So, what was the favorite car that you got? So the best one I ever had was the Lamborghini, bro. It Which was, what Lamborghini? It was a horror compared for man. So, it was, <laughs> and, and that was a, that was a cool scenario in itself, bro. Like. I went, I bought a Ferrari outright as well. We're talking bank transfer, mate. Not, not, do you know what I mean? Like, finance, bro, I, I prefer to finance it. I went to finance the Ferrari, got rejected on the finance. All right, cool. What's the bank details? I'll send it over. Bought the Ferrari two weeks later. It was nice. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm wearing Boohoo Man track suit, smoking roll ups, driving a Ferrari. Just not quite fitting. The, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, two months later, I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm getting a Lambo. It's more angry, it's more dangerous, it's more. It's more, more like, it's more, <laughs> it's more you. It's more you. It's more you. It's more you. It's more me. It's more shouty. Yeah. So um. So when I got that instead, and that was just mental. It really. So that was like poster. That was like, 
dream. Mm -hmm. like, it's loud. It's it was a status thing as well. I'll be totally honest with you. I'm never gonna say it's not, bro. I'm, I'm hometown revving it down. And mm. You can't not hear it. You, mm -hmm. gotta put, you, you just can't not hear <laughs> you it. You can't yeah. not hear it's it. Possible. Man. You know, yeah. Coming. Yeah. It's you know, impossible. You, know, you know. You know. You know who it is too, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know last names on the number plate. Do you know what I mean? It was, it, was, it was a big thing for me. Yeah. Um, How do you feel after you had that, or after you got it, bro? I'll be real. Yeah. Everyone says it feels. Sh you got it, nah, man. It's that's Top that's of the world. Unreal. Every time. Yeah. Every time to a certain point. Mm. Every time I jump in that car, I'm thinking like. I, this is where I don't know. I, I'm I'm like a little kid, but that's my passion. People need to be be very very careful about how they how they listen to me when I'm talking about my cars. Yeah, vehicles are my passion. Cars are actually my passion. Like I love them. It's what I think about when I when I'm falling asleep. You know wow. I mean? Right. Versus, it's not just a case of like I'm talking. Oh yeah, just bought a Lambo here. Like, yeah. That's like. Oh, what's the? How's best to say it? That's like people's obsession with football. People, that's like, uh, yeah, exactly, bro. That's like mm -hmm. someone getting to the Premier League. That's right. like a young footballer, a young kid who loves football. That's like them getting to the Premier League. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, for me, it's not it's not the vehicle. They need to see it as what what that what that was as a trophy in my life. That I was I love it so much. If I could have one of those, my goodness, I, I'm wow. And I, and I got it. So that's why for me, it's not just a, oh, it's a flashy car. It's not about that. For me, it's about that was so huge for me because it was such an obsession of mine for so long mm -hmm. and still is like test drive another one what three days ago two days ago yeah come on Actually, don't, yeah i'm not gonna say who or where because i'm not meant to, I meant to test drive it but <laughs> um but yeah but that was one of the best ones and it just felt felt incredible your story is super interesting bro do you know why because like a lot of your goals it feels like you hit them at quite a young age mm. which is kind of interesting as to why you spoke a minute ago about how you found it hard to stay hungry because a lot of your goals you hit so young so that's even a nice segue reference how old are you uh 22 22 so that's not even a nice segue let's let's go back to the beginning mm. when did Am how did amazon fba start how old are you and walk us through the journey so i was 19 years old 19 i'm working so you got to visualize this yeah I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm i'm putting reduced into the reductions are at tesco and my job is to reduce them in the back room all the smelly yeah, and I got to put it out on the shelf, and I'm around the right corner. Every time I go around, there, I'm like, sweet, I can pull, jump on my phone for a minute. No CCTV, and no one goes around that. Right in the corner of t the Tesco, watching a bit of YouTube. Da -da -da. See an Asian guy, Asian American guy, um, talking about Amazon. So I'm like, sweet, that sounds really good. <laughs> I haven't got a pot to piss in, so I ain't paying your money for the, for no course or anything. But I want to have a look into it, a serious look into it. Mm -hmm. Um, so started it when I was 19 years old. Started making money. So I lost the first bit of money. I had to borrow some money from my pops. Mm. So I lost about two, three grand. Um, but I think I borrowed initially about 1,500 quid and then obviously the rest on credit cards or whatever mm -hmm. it was. Um, grew it, made a few mistakes. And then I think within three months, I found a nuts product that just showed me this is a wow. business, a mad business within three months. Um, made a little bit of money in, in, you know, in between there, but it was the third month in when I was selling these little iPhone um, extension products. And I was like, yeah, this is making real money. And this is the mad thing, right? I was making more money every day while selling those than I was at my job. I made more money in two hours selling those than I did in a week at my job. Wow. Like at one point, which is ridiculous. Two hours? Two hours. Yeah, it was like, it was like, it was like 80 units I sold in one evening with this yeah. product. Yeah, about six pound profit. It's just ridiculous. And then I'm going to work the next day for eight pound. No, eight pound 30, 32 an hour. <laughs> you, you remember it still. <laughs> remember it. Remember it. I just got sacked. Like, Two months ago from Tesco. What do you mean you just got sacked? Sorry, I just got sacked. What do you mean you just got sacked? <laughs> 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 Wait, what do you mean? Hear this, right? So, mum, 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 Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me with the with the lambo outside. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll give clarity. I'll give clarity. Right? So my full employment ended at Tesco like two months ago. How wow. Much? So what are you doing then? Like you weren't working <laughs> there. Bro, I haven't worked there for like five years. I, I could just imagine, bro. Man, he's got he's got a lambo outside. Just drop out the Tesco uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Start packing no, 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 like, So officially, like, officially, yeah. We just got the letter. I was taking. Funny enough, I was taking all my family up to London. Yeah. Um, in the V class. The what the eight pound thirty two per hour? Yeah, yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. And literally, it, come, it came through, and I'm like, cool, it's a pay slip from Tesco. It's still somewhere in the V class. I'll have to dig it out and send you yeah. the picture. But eight pound thirty two. Um, no, no, sorry, my last pay slip, and I'm like. So like for like twelve pound or something. Oh. And then it, then they had the people, and they said date date that your thingy ended. Like and it was like two days before. I'm thinking, what? My employment's only just ended at Tesco. What What's going on here? Nuts. What is going on? Yeah. Like, just obviously just an administrative error. But, yeah, of um, course. 
but yeah, I thought that was a bit of a funny one. Anyway, and that, that was if you were, and you just slid in another business. That I don't even know if you know that Jack has his business as well, the sh the chauffeur one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah I remember oh, that when you pulled yeah, up yeah, to yeah, the yeah, first we, event that we did. That's it. I was moving. That was a that was a great event, that man. That was sorry, wicked, that was a great. Back event. to the story. Yeah, back to the story. Back man. to the story. Right, sorry. So a few months in, start. All good, bro. All good, man. A few months in, started making a good little bit of money, and um, and from there that that started pretty well. Um grafted it christmas time came made a lot of money just reselling like and again at this point it's not a real business but i'm out and about bits and bobs buying whatever i can black friday deals mm. xbox is the lot and i made a lot of money from wait so it taught me through that so you are literally going into stores what and then scanning stuff and then break down fba for people as well because not everyone will know yeah, what it yeah. is so so the long so obviously yes yeah, so how i was doing it was example right and this is where yeah it was yeah so I would go into Tesco, right? Black Friday, Xbox is a ninety-nine pound, and I got my my, my staff discount as well. Oh right, staff yeah, Tesco. Nine nine ninety pound Xbox is basically. Well, moving close to Christmas time, they're selling for two fifty on Amazon, so I'm holding. Black Friday comes, do that. Black Friday's out the way. Everyone got an Xbox because they needed it, and obviously, come middle of December, you got parents panicking, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna shift them on Amazon, sold them, made really good money. And that's how you do it. You buy stock. Was that retail arbitrage? retail yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, it's a good way of making money i made a lot of money like i don't think i i'd actually argue that no one's put i don't think there's anyone on this planet who's made more money in the brutal up charge than me really wow. no way bro i was hungry i was hungry as f to make you're also interesting bro like you know the fact you were at tesco was there for you were there for a reason yeah like how how perfect how perfect is the plan that you went tesco to get the to get the lower price deals to fund your vision to where you are today, but you could be you could be working anywhere, but you could work in the fish and chip shop. Yeah, but you're you working Tesco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just salt? No, but bro, you're there with the gadgets, <laughs> big <even> stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you're yeah. there, but I think that's like divine. I think that's like divine placement, bro. I think that's so yeah, beautiful, man. Yeah. Never looked at it like that actually. But yeah, and to anyone right now, just a quick one. You might be you might be in a position right now whereby you feel. Why am I even in this job? Why am I there right now? But trust and believe and believe and trust. Mm. You're actually there for a reason. And let this be like a, a testimony to show you that. Mm. Like, you make it 8.32 an hour. Go to the back. Go on your phone. Hating your job. But that same place funded his vision to get him to where he is today. Mm. Making millions of pounds a year. So, guys, don't sleep on that. And please, please understand you're in your place of work or wherever you are, whether it's school, anywhere, for a reason. I make the most of it as I well. I make the most of it, man. I make the most of the resources that are around you. So, for example, one of our friends, like, he wants to run a gym one day. He will run a gym one yes. day, Big Up Selms. Sounds and so he man. is a corporate corporate well-being and fitness advisor. Something yeah, like that. yeah. Um, and he's in the gym environment all the time. So now he's looking at the gym environment from the lens of someone who is going to own a gym one day. So he says, look, okay, this ain't clean. What are we going to do about it? This this um board needs to be changed. This training needs to be alerted of this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. This needs to be organized. This event needs to be running so that when he has a gym, it's going to be so much easier for him to be able to like implement the stuff that he's done over there. So just utilizing the resources that are around you. And that's exactly what you did, bro. Powerful, man. So as we were saying, but retail arbitrage, you said that no one else has done more than you. But let's get back to the story. So you're 19, making... So you're, you're, you're not shot here, but you're moving uh, Amazon extensions. Oh, sorry, iPhone extensions. And then you find a new product. And then you start getting cheaper Xboxes. Mm -hmm. Let's loads of stuff that were like... like clearance stuff from tesco like literally anything like that wow was there. and then um and was, oh this was all through tesco a lot no a lot of it was i was buying a lot of it from tesco okay the the chinese cables are from well they're from china a lot of yeah. China. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, 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 so. yeah a few things were like from wholesalers and that i was just but bro to be honest with you there was no back then there was, it was for me it wasn't retail arbitrage or whole for me it was just i'm buying to sell it yeah and that was it and i'm as much as i possibly yeah can, yeah yeah i'm buying it for as little as i can to sell it for as much as yeah. physically possible whilst business. learning the business yeah, yeah. Wow. Was that, and then I hit a few, quite a few big ones. And uh, was there any systems at the place at, at this time? Systems, yeah, ah, bro. just just shot in systems are like the past six months. <laughs> wow, we're six we're, we're, months, we're bro. Talking, bro. Listen, that's so interesting, bro. Because you just a quick one myself and John, we actually go through the journey right now, systemizing our own businesses mm. as we grow, as we grow from the start. Yeah. Well, not for me from the start, but for you at a, at a more infancy stage of where you're going to yeah. be in the future. So it's interesting how you just got to put now systemizing from now, and you've been hitting thousands upon thousands upon thousands. For a few years, for the last few well, years. I think, I think the main thing, the main thing is right. You can't systemize until you got the right things to systemize. Yeah, you need something to systemize. <laughs> yeah, what he said. You can't systemize until you got the right equipment. That's that it. Makes sense. It Ingredients. Yeah. So as as things have changed, obviously we're moving forward better with with the better environment and better people. That's when it's going to so going to start got systemizing you. properly. But um, obviously we've been trying to systemize for a little while. But when you've got when you haven't got the the the, the right 
dynamic, it doesn't work too well. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I think, but but for me, I'll still say like, uh, we're doing big numbers, man, big big fucking numbers. But I've not, I've still not got it all together. Mm. Like people will people will look from the external at my results and go, oh, this guy's got his shit together. Mm. Far well, from it, mate. I'm still learning every single day, like every single day. And I think that's one thing people got to realize because um, I think people seeing that and having that opinion of me. It's appreciated, thank you. But people sit having that opinion of me will put them off potentially chasing it for themselves. Damn people deep. got to understand n at at no point throughout my journey where I've made a lot of money or made a big change or a big move, there was no big build up to the systems and all specialized. Nothing all that. I'm just running head first at anything I see, mm. blind, blindfolded. I don't care, but mm. I'll still do it. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think that's an important. Part. A lot of lessons in that right there. But I continue the story, man. So. You um you're just you're just moving as many things as possible. Yeah, as yeah. And you're you're still nineteen at this time, or you yeah, gone yeah. to twenty? Probably probably tw probably twenty at this point now. If we move into move into twenty twenty, obviously I started April twenty nineteen. So if we move into twenty twenty, I've just turned um kind of middle of that year. Mm. I'm making a little bit more, doing a little bit better. Um, brought Jake on board. No, oh, Jake, did I bring you on board September nineteen? Twenty September fourth, twenty twenty. No, it's the day of everything. Word, yeah, yeah. like anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh yeah, just past the anniversary actually. Yeah, September fourth, yeah, last last uh, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Oh, twenty 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 two or twenty twenty. That was twenty twenty. Mm. Oh, so that's a free anniversary. Three years. I want to, I want to talk about it a bit later on in terms of like loyalty in the team, but let's continue, yeah, yeah. man. So um, I'm right down. So yeah, so I got Jake on board about a year and a half after I started. And was, was kind of was this was it sorry was this before you spoke to the CBT guy, cognitive behavioral therapy? No, no, this, yeah, this was before. Sorry, this was before. This is before, this right? Before, right? So we done that. Jake come on board, and it was doing alright then. Jake come on board when we done, but it was about twenty seven grand in the bank. I think at the time, twenty seven k a in, month. And no, in the bank. Okay. At the time, twenty six. Yeah. 20, Jake knows every, what? <laughs> Jake knows everything. He's cold. You're cold, bro. Yeah, Trust for real. Was there, man? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go long story short on this one, yeah. But mm -hmm. imagine two months later, two months after Jake joined, me and him sat there and we made a quarter of a million pounds. How does that work? Wait, how, how, how long after? Two months, bro. Two months. So, okay, cool. Let me just say to the camera. So, Jake joined and they were making £26,000. They had £26,000 in the bank. In the bank. £26,000 yeah. in the bank. And a couple months later, 250k so so okay i'm, okay, I'm gonna say the story in it because there's nothing to hide cause it's what? Stuff it but, right cool long story short yeah and it was f mental i'm gonna have to we had to find a video of us dancing in the office somewhere yeah we was on a trust me it was like winning the lottery cool. so long, <laughs> like, long, long story short yeah mm -hmm. started making decent money now so yeah. I, I, a month and a half after that amazon sales are climbing jake's helping me get a bit of stability keeping me sane as well mm -hmm. um it's going good i wanted my first porsche right okay first um, Oh, there's so much, man, but... Okay, cool. I wanted my first Porsche, yeah? We're talking a £2,000 deposit, £700 a month. Okay. Paying for this car. Cool. September. So that was end of September I got that, I think? End of August before you started, I got the Porsche. Okay, cool. I got the finance on that car for a £40,000 car. Yeah, I was on Universal Credit. But I got the car, Jake joined... I've done a I've done a video now on TikTok basically saying, like, I've done this. And for me, bro, 27K in the bank. Yeah, 26K in the bank. First employee was obviously a nice thing to say. First, got my office. I'm turning up in a suit every day, and I've got a f Porsche. What I went through a lot of the time in schools, got kicked out of f five, six schools, mm. and now I'm here at 19, and I'm showing the world. Mm. Yeah, more. I'll be honest. I'll be real. Mm. So I made a few videos. Boom. I'm gassing now. I'm like, yeah, I've done this. Mm -hmm. I've made this money. Yeah, I bought that Porsche. I have Amazon money. I'm freaking. I'm the man. Mm. Yeah, I'm the man. So I did a video and it was just off the cuff. Here's where I started. Da, 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 da. Kicked out of a couple of schools and bang, bought my first Porsche today. Mm. Five million views. TikTok. Five million views. Off the bat. Yeah, four or five million views wow. on TikTok. Rapid. All the other videos around it were popping off at the time. Yeah. I'm just banging content, right? Instagram's gl blowing up like mad. Obviously, I'm now going, right, you lot. I found a clear cut way, like, I found a clear cut way of doing to it. make money on Amazon. Yeah. Clear cut. It's as simple as that. Yeah. There's a lot of guys out there doing marketing, saying mm -hmm. they do something and don't actually do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the trenches with this shit. I've been in the trenches with this shit for four years. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm doing it now, I'm like, cool, yeah, Jake, we're gonna release a mentoring, yeah. We're gonna do one. I was doing a little bit before showing people here and there, Jake, we're gonna release a mentoring, yeah. And this was the maddest maddest situation of my life. We we released one, yeah. And it wasn't like expecting anything crazy, it was just a okay, cake cool. 
a lot of messages about it now. Let's just release one. We'll do it. Seven hundred pound per person, six mm -hmm. nine five per person or whatever. Release it. We release deposits for it. Seventy nine pound, yeah, seventy nine pound deposits, right? Was it one ninety nine deposits? Oh. Was one so one nine nine deposits and then what people have to pay in installments they pay, pay the 400 pound before we start mm -hmm. yeah one nine nine deposits released it now i said right everyone that's available on instagram limited spaces and obviously at that time i'm thinking well i'm just gonna do like 10 people if i can get 10 people that's hard i'm making i'm making two bags mm -hmm. tonight wait mm -hmm. two bags yeah two bags one oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and then i'll get yeah. another six bags or five another five bags when they're ready to pay yeah yeah 300 people 300 people that night well, let me do that maths 300 times what 200. Well, it was 300 times 600. Oh, 300 times 600. No, no, it was oh, 600. Was it 700? 199 plus 499. 499, okay. 199 plus 499. That's like what? 499, 700. 700. Call it 700. Seven billers. So what? So you made 210K? Wow. Oh, that's how you got to. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, bro, me and me and Jake are there, like. Goodness gracious. Because we did it, and obviously, just this is this is this is a it's an, it's an honest thing. They're like, yeah, cool. People are asking for it. We'll just release it. Oh, there's so many people who do it. Oh, there's so much to work out. Okay. You know what we'll do, Jay? We're going to put the bank details live. If you want in, bank details now. And was this your business bank account at the time? Was it just your personal? Yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, business. If you want in, get it. And boom. And we'll be like, oh, f Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Bro, I've got, that's 10x. That what we've got. What are we going to do? Yeah. Can we? Can we teach these people? <laughs> <laughs> so you're asking this after you release this now. Bro, but that's a that's a lesson itself right there. Just do it, man. Do it scared, do it blind, just 100%, go. 100 percent 100 percent And that was just like unbelievable. And I was like, holy sh that was mad. We couldn't do that again because that was just like too many people. We firmed it. We made a lot of millionaires out of that. Really? Uh, yeah. So how did it work? Was it like um was it like a video program or how was it like? So so obviously we they were split into groups and we've done group mentoring. So it was like fifty people per group or how was yeah, thirty? Oh, it was like ten sessions a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Which was which was hefty. Okay. And then you would have to balance that and business, but then clearly this is it's making sense. Mm hmm Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Now that was a point where I could have gone against who I wanted who I wanted to be. Because the the point there was okay, I haven't really got to sell on Amazon now. Mm. But I kept it hitting. Kept it hitting to the point now where Amazon is making far more than the mentoring. Mm -hmm. uh... E-commerce selling, selling products online right now is making me way more than teaching people how to do it. And not everyone will do that. A lot yeah, of guys yeah. they'll do the coaching thing and they'll say, "This is how you do that." But then with that, they're not even making any money. That they're only so making good. money from the coaching, that is so which good. is nuts because it's like <laughs> the blind leading the blind. <laughs> after a while, yeah, because you yeah, lose after touch. exactly because yeah. you lose touch and then well, things this develop this over well, time. This is one of the most changing businesses in the world, man. It changes. I can I imagine shoot a course and then tell people how to do it because I've done it once upon a time. Mm. No, I need to be knee deep in this business in the trenches. Mm. Deep because as he keeps saying, in the trenches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the day before they changed two weeks ago. Wow, big changes. Was in like in regulations and stuff and what you can and can't do. Yeah, yeah. What you can, what you can't do, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. It's an ever-changing business. That's why I, when I've done it, I've invested a lot into the industry. Got you. A lot into the industry, a lot into... So, yes, we teach people how to do it, but also we, we facilitate a lot of that as well. Mm. So, for example, like, um, there's an accountancy starting up now, accountancy firm starting up. Yours. And I'm a partner in that. It's, it's a bit, I'll, I'll have a partnership with someone who's doing it, but he's a great accountant for that. And we want to build that and facilitate Amazon sales. Question. Oh, nice. So... With these businesses that you're building up, do you mind just giving a quick rundown of the ones? Because I'm just trying to work something out. People. Yes. I hope you're enjoying today's episode. Jeez. This is just a small interjection. Big one. We wanted to say very, very quickly, mm -hmm. we don't ask for anything. Nothing. And this is the only thing. Like, we, we haven't asked for anything before, <laughs> but this is the only thing we're going to be asking for. Please, can they do what, Robert? Guys, if you have not already, please leave a like and a comment. Trust me, it helps us out. Help a friend, help a friend, guys. Mm. You don't know what your like or comment or share could do to help someone else's journey of purpose i know it can help other people find these videos and help them with their lives as Come well on. so people i hope you enjoy the rest of the video big love let's go love. right so we got jack's amazon club cool teach him okay mentoring yeah yeah mentoring so that's like mentoring the regular person on how to sell on amazon got you right? then we got um amazon business amazon selling yes we also sell on ebay well what's oh, the so what's the amazon the that's fba one? fba oh that's you doing it yourself yeah so selling on, on okay cool. we sell on ebay okay we sell on Another platform as well, which I'm going to say right now. Okay. Um. So that's that, and then I, I am a, I'm a shareholder in Damage Assist franchises, which is 
Um, he essentially, if you get a crack on any cup, wall, whatever, marble topping, you can't spend 10 grand on a new marble top, he can come and repair it. Sort it out. Okay, quid. Okay, cool. stuff. And it's a very franchisable model. He's a great guy, so I'm helping him franchise out. So I'm a shareholder in that yeah. as well. Um, when you say franchise that out, what does that mean? So basically, he's, he's damage assist and his brand looks great. He's well recognized. His marketing's great. And he's got more clients than he needs, right? So franchising it out is essentially saying, right, you can either try and do it yourself and try and learn how to repair these worktops yourself and then try and go and compete with us or you can purchase a franchise where you get a van, you get the clients, you get the reputation we've already built. Uh, and all like McDonald's. Straight up like McDonald's. Okay, club. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. makes sense. Okay. That's it. That's oh. it. And then uh, we've got... Chauffeur in, yeah. How could we oh, yeah, forget chauffeur in? Business, yeah. We've got to get one for one of our events here. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> 100%, 100%, yeah, that's um, that's in, in the works quite nicely. There's been a few admin hiccups with that, so that's that. Um, we also, we have also consultancy for brands as well. Mm. So, so for example, you've got Amazon. So, if you wanted to sell on Amazon right now and you said, oh, I just want to make some money on Amazon, I'd, I'd basically sell your mentorship. Yeah, I'd show you, right. Here's a, eight weeks. But we ever do it, bro. <laughs> no. We don't. I want to do it. I, 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 I'd consider it. <laughs> In the future, I consider it, but right now I'm I'm laser focused on my I business. I feel it. I feel it. But that's um that's like a week mentorship shows you how to do it. It's nice and simple. Got you. Alternatively, you could already have a brand. You got a product. You got an idea. You're selling it already, but you want to get it on Amazon or you want to get it on other online marketplaces. Got you. Support with that. Mm -hmm. So we also do that too as well. So we manage mm -hmm. other people's brands on wow. social media in order to drive traffic to sales and also their Amazons too. Um, that's dope. That's dope. So, and and obviously the last one is um. A car selling company that we're okay. starting up. Amazing. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. So uh, let's let's go back. Let's go back to the story. So I I just wanted to ask that yeah. because I wanted to see what like similarities they had with each other. So like a lot of these businesses, I'm seeing that they're in a similar ecosystem as well. Mm. So like the selling and stuff like that, it's in a similar ecosystem. And a lot of people talk about like multiple streams of revenue mm -hmm. and multiple streams of income, but then. I feel like people should diversify within their niche mm, with 100%. where they are. It's where the big money comes. It's where the big money comes because then you start to compound on all of your success and then it starts to build and build and build. And then you said another one of your businesses is to do with one of your hobbies. Mm -hmm. So cars, well, multiple, couple of your businesses to do with one of your hobbies, yeah, yeah. which is cars. So it makes a lot of sense. But it also makes sense why you're saying that there's a lot to handle yeah. because it's, it sounds like a lot of this is like, it's, it's in your head at the same time. And that's a similar problem to what I have as well. Mm. Yeah, it does. It, it weighs... So like I'll be like I'll be real, I'll be sat here, like and you've just said that, do you know what's actually so mad? You've just said that and I'm like, oh I forgot to do that. Oh sh like it sounds like me, bro. This is exactly what I go and, through, Jack. And I'm driving and I'm like, cool, I'm on I'm on a call with someone else. I'm like, cool, I'm hit, getting this work done and then they'll say something and it'll remind me of someone else that I didn't do and I'm like oh, damn. Oh Do you have a yeah. PA, bro? No. You need, you need to get, you need, but you need to get a PA. Bro. So we need to get you a PA. <laughs> Let's get you a PA. Well, we need to get you a PA, bro, bro. Because realistically, bro, you do all this by yourself is actually energy mm. taken away from what you should be doing which is bringing revenue to the businesses like if you have a PA bro to organise your, your calendar mm. bro, I'll save you so much time bro man and have you seen suits yeah you need a donor bro uh, you need I a donor bro I've said it many a time the missus had a go at me I'm like darling I don't care what you say if I find a donor I'll just come in on a make it happen exactly Who's donor, donor. So, and I watch suits bro you don't watch suits this guy called Harvey Spectre yeah like yeah. one of the best is it a lawyer yeah, yeah, lawyers in in town or whatever. Yeah, he had this one lady receptionist, like kind of PA kind of lady. Yeah, who helped him with everything. Wow, she knew everything about his life. Sick, bro. Like literally everything about his life, everything he needs to do, she knew it before he yeah, even so, thought of it. Yeah, literally wow. walking and be like, Donna, I need, and just slaps on his desk. Exactly. Go, done. I need one of them, hundred percent. It's the bro. I feel like we all do. Yeah, we yeah, all do. Yeah, we yeah, all do yeah. just to make it make some stuff make sense. Yeah. But I I there's you, so I much to you, balance. No, bro, you're right. But I think you should go. I think you should get a PA, bro. Yeah. Like why not, man? But yeah, let's go back to the story, man. Yes. So you're twenty are you twenty one at this point here when 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 Jake comes aboard? No, twenty when Jake comes aboard. Oh, tw twenty. Twenty when Jake comes on board. That's it. Twenty when Jake comes on board. And you just got a Porsche. 10K. Okay. Oh, was I start I start when I was eighteen then? Tw sorry, I started in twenty nineteen when I was eighteen. Got you. Then I was nineteen in twenty twenty. Sorry, that's why I'm getting people. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> okay. So then you made a two the two hundred plus K. Now you have two hundred and fifty K in the American account after a couple of months. What's next? I'm spending it, bro. Mm. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. Nah, again, I was like, cool, I got a business there that I need to double down on because that's great. The value and the response from that was fantastic. I think out of 300 people, you had two people moaning, which is shows more about them than it does us. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, that's a um, tiny, that's another thing. People focus on that kind of stuff as well. Like the the two people yeah. that say something negative, even if it's in the comments, yeah. even if it's to their face, they focus on that stuff when it's really the other 298 people yeah, that got a really good. So, and you said you made millionaires. Yeah, definitely guaranteed. Millionaires out of that first cohort when you didn't even know like, okay, 
<laughs> you didn't even know exactly what was going to be in the mentorship. You just knew that you could teach this stuff. That's you it. knew that you had this knowledge to give people and you made millionaires off the back of that. But that's big, bro. That's big impact because they've probably gone on to impact other people as well. Mm-hmm. How but, does that feel? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. How does that feel, man? You made millionaires, bro. Like, how does that feel? It feels good. It feels yeah. Good. I'm, 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 it's good to know. The butterfly effect, right, I'm telling you right now, yeah, the, the biggest butterfly, butterfly effect, effect ever perfect. was me making that first video on TikTok. The that five video, mil one. There's people out there who don't even know they need to f- thank me. Wow. And I'll be real. That sounds my ass. I'll be real. No, no, no. I completely but, understand what you're saying. But... Like, I know for a fact, and this is what I'm saying, I've taught some people, they've done big numbers. Yes. And obviously they've gone and said, oh, no, it's just me, and I didn't learn from anyone. But I'm fully well conscious they've gone on to help someone else do it, mm-hmm. to help someone else do it, to help someone I see it. I see it. The ecosystem started at me, mm. 100%. Now, there's people doing it before, da, 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 but in the mentoring space, bringing it into the UK, TikTok, da, 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 social media, whatever, I was massively responsible for that. And yeah, this is what I'm saying. If I actually guaranteed over half a billion in sales... Half a billion? It, what me? What the butterfly effect? Guaranteed. Five hundred wow. million because the people who affected other people who yeah. taught other people, yeah, and that's another that. thing as well because you can't, you can, I don't think you can ever understand how many, how many millionaires you made and how many people you got into business because that video it had five million people who've watched it and they don't even. The reason I said I, I completely understand what you're saying because some people don't even know that their vi- the video that you made was the right. first video that they realized right. okay I'm young and I can make this happen. Yeah, yeah, and they're never that's gonna chuck it back to that. That's well. so like true, some, you know. Some people come to me and go, like, actually from damage sis, bear in mind, yeah, he built this six-figure business out of nowhere, and and the first time I ever got a message, he goes, "Thank you." I'm like, "What are you saying thank you to me for? I don't work with you." Mm. He's like, "No, you, you, there was a video one day of you telling me to get off my ass and f- do it, and I did it, and now I'm here." And I'm like, "Mad, mad," and then ended up investing into the business with him, you know, what I mean? which is Amazing. even bigger. But that, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it fe- it feels really good. It feels really good, but. Honestly, mm. if I'm honest with you, when you want to be appreciated for what you've done for people, which is what I do, you know, it's it's it's, it's nice to be appreciated. Of course, you realize this world is this world this world is very selfish. Yeah, the human the human heart is prideful, man. What does pride mean? What what does pride do? Pride puts you above above above, above other people. Mm. Humans are selfish by nature, so. We can't hold our hands. We can't hold our breath for people to say thank you because people naturally are selfish and people are naturally looking after themselves, which is sad. But because I I feel like what you said earlier on about how you have very high expectations for people, right? Mm-hmm. Because your expectations for people are so, for people are so high, if they don't hit your standards, you're like, what the heck? But one thing my therapist says to me is called unmet expectations. Where because you have such high standards for other people, right? When people don't hit those standards, you're like, what the heck? Why are you not doing that? But yeah. You have to understand not everyone's born the same way as us. Yeah. People people are literally cut from a different cloth. Yeah, yeah. It's the saddest thing, but I say all that to say I understand how you feel, bro. And and what's funny as well, not funny, but what you said as well is that you had you hold people to the standard, but you also hold yourself to a standard. Mm. And you're like, okay, why doesn't anyone else get to this standard? Mm. And it just makes no sense. And it's bro, it's the same with me. <laughs> it's the <laughs> same with me. It's like it's the internal conflict. Yeah. But story. Story. Sorry. Balamori. We were we were <laughs> Balamori. <laughs> we were at um nineteen, just brought Jake on board and got the Porsche two hundred and ten grand in a bank. Mm. Mm. Or two hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. Investing. Working, head yeah. down, enjoying it, having fun, wondering what, what we should be doing with all this money and cracking it on and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um Amazon was making great money at this point as well. Uh got my brother on board, got mm. the team on board, got Brandon on board, got mm. Dan on board. Wow just then just grew from there and i'll be real since then it was just a whirlwind of just falling upstairs what does that mean falling upstairs falling upstairs what does that mean yeah so like going well making money but just kind of just like just falling up it making mistakes along the way but you're still going up literally not knowing what i'm doing or where i'm going but it's upwards you know what i mean just just good yeah june the 1st 2021 which was good that's when we had half a warehouse half an office oh nice december 2021 we then had to get another office because we'd hired so many that we needed to get out of the warehouse because the warehouse was getting packed as well. Wow. wow. And that was December 2021. 2022, I'll be real, it was probably a write-off, man. Yeah. 2022, was, the, the year was a write-off. 2022 was a write-off, man. First six months of the year made a bit of money. Second six months of the year. A bit of money, what does that mean? A lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and but But just, I think at this point I had no... Do you know what it was? Yeah, actually, no, I'll, be, I'll be deadly honest with you. So, at kind of end of 2021, I got the Lambo. Start of 2022, I got the Porsche. Got another Porsche. Wow. The AMG. Wait, sorry, okay. Just 
give me names. Like, okay, what what Porsches were you getting? Right, cool. So, so Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Okay. I had a Porsche uh, 981 Spider. Oof. And a, um, I was more of an investment one to be fair. Like, okay. Made made a bit of money on it. Um, which was basically that was a convertible, mm-hmm. manual convertible mag car. Oh, right. So, yeah, that's a 981 Spider. Um, and then basically a box star, but it's called a Spider because it's got a bigger engine and all that. Got you. Um, and then Porsche KN Turbo S, Oof. the big 4x4. Yep. Which is ex- expensive. Porsche 4x4. Four four. Really? Yeah, bro. Beautiful. They got, was it the, the McCann and the. Yes. The McCann and the KN. Yeah. yeah and this, the KN. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. 700 brake horsepower, 4 litre V8. Ooh, That's gracious. Mad. 4 litres. Mad. Just bro, think about the horsepower, <laughs> about the litres, bro. Bro, bro, I'm thinking yeah, about the cars, yeah. But it's because I think I look at these days, they're like 1.6. Oh, oh right. <laughs> <laughs> That's 4 litres. That's like. I got you. Damn, bro. But you know how 700 brake. Do, you know, do you know how deep that is, bro? That's more than my Lambo. That's like, bro, that's like 10 times a Fiesta, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 times a Fiesta, bro. That is, why do you need that much, bro? Give Yo, me some, bro. I want some more Especially stuff. in London, like, or in the UK, like, it's not like open roads like that. Yeah, that's a lie, man. We could all use it sometimes. Like. Where? Wherever no one's looking at it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, okay, cool. You got the KN as, the KN as well. Yeah. And the AMG as well, the yeah, nice. 35 AMG. All right, okay. It's a wicked little pocket rocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just, and <laughs> I love your language, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> pocket rocket. <laughs> yeah, and, and at this point, I'm. You know, you know what you talk about though, the A class. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'm living in a big house now. Maybe. You moved out. You yeah. moved out. You moved out. Yeah, yeah, I moved out at 17, bro. I was at my own at 17. Oh, raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so when you were in Sainsbury's. Tesco. Tesco. Sorry. I, was, sorry, I was in Sainsbury's. I was in Sainsbury's. Um, in Tesco's. Tesco, yeah. Right. I moved out when I was in second year of college at Tesco. Yeah. Oh, right. Fair enough. Yeah. Wow. Um, but um, it's worked, it's worked out really well, to be fair. Yeah. Obviously, I know it's been highs and lows on the yeah, journey. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, but mate, I can't, mate, I mustn't complain. Like, yeah. Bro, 17 years old. I moved out on my own. I was on benefits, housing benefit, universal credit. I was doing whatever I had to do to make a bit of bread. And mm-hmm. now I'm talking to you about the cars that I had and... And but yeah, but but that was sorry, yeah, beginning of twenty twenty two and I was sweet man, so much money in the bank. Cars I go where I want to. If I want to go to Dubai tomorrow, first class, I'm going to Dubai tomorrow first class. Nothing can stop me. If I wanna go spend five grand at, at dinner, I then I and I did regularly. I don't care. I'll do what I want when I want to. Where are you eating? Anywhere. Private dining. All restaurants all across London. 5k? Yeah. M- minor. Bro, 5k was a light night out last year. Wow. <laughs> I'll be real. Because, because, but again, that's not because I'm a knob. That's because of the cause of the kind of person I am. I ain't just taking myself out, bro. Mm. Take man, everyone out, yeah. Out, there's fucking 20 of us, bro. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, you pay for everyone? Yeah. Yeah. You fair, you've, always been, you've always been real like that, bro. Even when, like, I don't drink. You said, bro, I've got you. What do you want? Apple, I said Apple juice. He said, I've got you, Rob. Like, Apple juice. You don't, you don't have to do that for me, bro. But you're like, bro, I've got you, man. I was like, that's just, oh, that's just the type of guy yeah. you are. Oh. Yeah, bro, because alcohol's expensive, bro. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't drink, man. So I'm like, yeah, bro, just Apple juice, please. Like, yeah, I've yeah. got you, man. But that's like, that just shows your heart, man. Mm. Like, real. That's really, really good. You're a really good guy, yeah, bro. If I'm experiencing something, I want everyone around me to be able to do so as well. Like, I like that, bro. I want, everyone to, I want everyone to have it too, you know? And um, especially the people, like the people with me, the people who have been with me from the start, like, for example, Jake. Jake's been with me from the start. Obviously, it's my company and my money, but you're, 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 if you think I'm not going to bring my boy on the journey with me, because regardless, if he didn't join, if he wasn't there, I wouldn't be half where I am. Right no now. way. But we just you just said it, bro. 26K to 210K in two months. That's it. That's the power of community. That's it. Exactly. The power having, of community. Having that right-hand man and someone to rely on. And and, and and to be fair, Jake's one of them ones who does take on my stresses. Mm. Shout out, Jake, man. Shout out, Jake. Shout out, Jake, man. Jake's one of them ones who... We, we we do it for each other to be fair, but yeah. don't leave too much time for being smiling and happy. But whenever I got a stress, he takes it on. Whenever you got a stress, I take it on. You know, it's like Jono. Mm-hmm. It's like Jono, man, absolutely raw. And when I was going through the storms, he was there holding me down, bro. He's like, Rob, I can't lie to you. I need to update or something. You're going through the storm, so I couldn't say anything to you, but now I can tell you. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, mad. But it's like that's how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know how it is, bro. So no, thank you, Jono. I hope right, I do. Right. Hope I do the same back, huh? I hope I do the same back. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like my brother's keeper. Like literally, like when when Jake when we we're downstairs, the drinks. Oh, I didn't pay for the drinks. Jake was like, "Yeah, I already got it, bro." Mm. That's just that's just what we're supposed to do as brothers. And I think naturally. I think that brotherhood is something which is so important. I was speaking to this guy earlier. 
big up Dan. I was speaking to Dan earlier, and what he does is he like runs masterminds, like for all these different entrepreneurs as well, brings us together. And I was even telling him about you guys' trip to Thailand, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello, yeah, dope, man. That was sick. Yeah, yeah. Dope. and I was saying, yeah, because he was planning a trip out to Thailand in December. And then I was saying, yeah, you lot should do Muay Thai. Like my friend Jack did Muay Thai. Da, da, da. He's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that, actually. P- put it into the plan and everything like that. And he was talking about the importance of brotherhood, mm. and how important brotherhood is and like mm. how there's multiple parts to it as well. So like you can be a bro mm. and you can be brothers mm. and how brothers actually got your back. And what what has, <laughs> because I'm, I know that you're around your brothers a lot. Like literally, mm-hmm. your brother. Yeah. Uh, I think I met him actually at the e-commerce center, the Gen Z one as well. That's right. Yeah. I think I met him there. Yeah, he's a sick guy. And you're around other people you would consider brothers as well. How does that affect business? Mm, Big great time. question. Big f-ing time. Mm. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my life. Right. Wow. Yeah. Because it's a professional environment, right? Mm. But these are also people in the past where if it's had to be swings, it's had to be swings, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. And things hit how they shouldn't hit if per if individual a who haven't known all my life makes a mistake you've made a mistake if it, if my brother makes a mistake in my business it doesn't just hurt my business i feel it it hurts me as well mm-hmm. and i react wrong to that because mistakes and mistakes we're all going to make them but where it where it's the emotional side involved as well it's 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 basically it's really highs and really lows when times are good they're f- good i can imagine people mm-hmm. there's nothing better than that when times are bad it's it's morbid, man. Wow. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. Like, you know, your your good friends in there, your brothers in there. And it's like, where do you where do you draw the line? And and the uh, there's actually no real answer. Where do you draw the line? Like, okay, you can do this, but you can't do that. You can run at this this time, but that person's got to roll in at that time. It's mm-hmm. like Big shout out to Jake, Mr. 11 a.m. Loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. 11 to what? 11 to what, bro? What's your hours, bro? Well, 11 to 2. <laughs> well, that's why right I'm wrong, because it's 11 till, f- till 1 in the morning. Two oh, 2 a.m.? I was talking p.m., so a.m. That's why, that's why I respect it. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, yeah, 100%. What's, what's your hours? Let me get, let me, let, let's define my work mm-hmm. before we go into this conversation. Go my on. work is not in the desk. It's not there. My work is in here. Yeah. And on here yeah. at all times of day one in the morning two in the morning three. anyway so i rise when i rise we're talking about probably nine 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 o'clock at the moment okay last year we're talking about 12 one <laughs> all right yeah, yeah, yeah. so you just let your body wake you up i did i did but complacency isn't it lamborghini oh, yeah, 22 yeah 20 mm. yeah 2022 yeah, okay 2022 lambos porsches amg online banking sweet what am i waking up for mm. i'll be real Man, I want to get into this in a minute. I want to get into this actually right now, actually. <laughs> purpose. Because ultimately, I feel like in that season of your life, mm. you're making so much money, you forgot the purpose. Now, my question to you is this, right? And this is a question whereby people go, people go through their whole lives not even knowing the answer to this. Mm. What is your purpose? I know it. I know my purpose, but it's hard to vocabulate. Is that word, vocabulary? <laughs> I'm that word. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I know articulate is one, it's but just, no, 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 no. Vocabulary. I've said that as I've said, I've said that as an inside joke. In it, okay, but, right. But, but I like the word, so I'm, I'm taking it onto my vocabulary right now. Good. Okay. Um, but my, I know now after everything I've been through, and uh, unspoken, obviously on here, by the way, but obviously, but past what I've had to do to learn myself, what I've had to understand about the world and what I've been able to understand and learn about the world and that's unlocked everything that's un- that I've unlocked in life so far I've done a lot and I'm going to keep doing a lot more Amen and, I, and I'll explain that with a bit of context in a minute but my I think my purpose is to be able to to put everyone on level playing field mm. That's dope I think That's deep everyone, That's deep le- Level playing field What does that, what does that look that's like? Deep. If I have a conversation with you a, a, a meaningful, specific conversation about helping you become who you want to be. We kind of did have that already, to be honest, when we were at um, that event that we were at mm. and you were chopping up with me about that like, team and stuff like that. Not so much business. Okay. Not so much oh, on a right. business level. Sorry, I always go straight to business. No, 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 it's cool. It? No, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Why that, is that though? That's that's my life, bro. Damn. Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, unfo- I don't know. That's my life. That's where it is. We get you the podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but please continue, man. Um, no, on, on on a deeper level than that. Right. I think understanding the brain, understanding what it takes, understand basically looking into the mind and, and 
back in the day, I was there was I was always thinking there's an element of luck here, mm -hmm. an element of luck here with the business. And then it was the Amazon business, there was the mentoring business, then it was another thing that made a ridiculous amount of money. And do you know what it is, bro? Yeah, I know deep inside me, I'll always be all right. I'll always make good amounts of money because I have just this thing this thing and I can't explain what this thing is but I can help you if I was speaking to you for two three hours I can help you get there if that makes sense like mm. understand what you need to be doing how you need to be thinking how you need how do you need to wire your brain and, and I've got an example recently things are going whatever I'm not really happy with it I've got to launch some new things I'm like cool I need to find something now because I feel bored right now I feel like is it was that luck was this luck two two seven figure businesses Wow. Yeah, bare, bare, bare minimum, yeah. I own two. And you thought it was luck? Yeah. Mm, element of, oh, yeah. Wow. So I'm like, cool. I'm, I feel back in the trenches now. There's less money now because I spent a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I'm under an immense amount of pressure. I'm going to find something. I told myself. I told myself. I'm going, and I've documented it all. Documented it all. So I will show the whole world. This mm -hmm. is what I'm excited about. I'm going to do something now. And it's going to make me a millionaire in another industry. Not another industry, but this is a completely different way of making money than I ever made money. Wow. But it's going to make me a millionaire. And within 30 days, it did. Mm. What? Pro rata. Six figures. Hit. It's another seven-figure business like that. In 30 days, something I've never had experience or done before, but within 30 days, I'm going to show you after as well. I'm going to literally put my phone and show you. And then when yeah. it's easy. Yeah. And that just came out of me reminding myself what I did to get where I was, mm. what I did to get to those spaces and go, right, let me just try this out again. And that's why right now that when I'm speaking about the internal battle of what's going on, there's so much, so much right now. And now I've got that to contend with as well. Plus my other stuff, plus everything else. So it's tough and it ain't paying me. It's big money, but it's got to keep reinvesting now. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a six-figure monthly business that's just popped out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That's got to keep reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting. While it's not harming the other businesses, it can't harm the other businesses. So it can't take money from the other businesses. So it's got to get a loan. So it's got to reinvest, reinvest, reinvest. But that's that's where we're at. And that was big for me. But when I did it and done it, I'm like, oh, fuck, I've got so much more to do now. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound like a sport brat there. I'll be real, but... That's my purpose. My purpose is to help people bring that animal out of themselves. And you know why I like that so much, bro? Because you won't say anything. You won't talk about like Amazon FBO or anything like that. You'll talk about something which is so much bigger than that mm. to help people be on a level playing field. Mm. So obviously we don't know the whole future, but what other things we like to do? Because when I think about you saying that to level the playing field with other people, me personally, I'm thinking about like schools, universe. Like, what do you, what do you want to do with this? Cause that's a that's a mad purpose. Word. So, funny enough, one of the cent centres that I went to, one of the people referral units I went to, they've, it was quite a while back, and at this time, man, I'll be real, I wasn't even making much money, but I was on the right path. And they invited me back into the school to speak to the other students, because I got good grades at college, mm. and I was working at Tesco, and I had a, my own, my own my nice little Renault Clio. Mm -hmm. And I pulled up to that same gap and went and said thank you to them, because they helped me through, and, and they could have just left me for, leave, let, you know, left me for dead, mm. but they helped me through it. And and this is at what kind of a school? A uh, pu people referral unit. People referral. What's that? Oh, is that like unit? Like, like when someone said they go yeah, to unit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So um, they went through, and I went back, and they said, "Oh, you should come do a speech, everyone." And I'm thinking, "Nah, I'm not gonna. Put, uh, what am I doing a speech? I fucking work at Tesco." Even though I felt so, for me, from where I was to working at Tesco and owning my own Renault Clio, I felt like, like the man, mm. the man, like it's heavy. I felt more accomplished then than I do now. Whoa! Because you're talking world steps, world but, steps. So where were you before? Like where were you at that place there when you were at the unit? I was, I was, I was, I was in trouble. Mm. I've been kicked out of everywhere. Tell, tell, being told I'm not going to any college because I ain't gonna get the grades. I'm fighting. I'm doing stupid stuff. I'm involved with the wrong people. Yeah, it just didn't look good at all. Damn. My parents were exhausted after all the stress that I put them through. It was just. How they feel? How they feeling now? Better. We're living a good life. Good. We living thank God for that, man. We thank God. Okay, cool. So. Man, there's so many things we could talk about, man. But let's okay. Where were we? So we talk about we spoke, we spoke about we spoke about purpose. Mm. I just wanted to just hone in on that one. What you just said there, in terms mm. of you feeling like you feeling more accomplished. Yeah, that's good. From where you were at the unit mm. to being with your Renault Clio mm -hmm. in Tesco's and asking to come, like them asking you to come back, then you feel right now. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Like, why did you feel like that? I think. Because at that time, I was making a bit of money as well mm -hmm. from a business that wasn't actually legit. It was, okay. It was, it was dangerous. It was stupid more than anything. It weren't um, 
it was illegal, but that's besides the point. Mm -hmm. I was making a bit of money, and it was just like they had, they they supported and helped me. So I'm never going to talk a bad name on the unit, but they they knew what the plan was for me. Do you, do you know what I mean? They knew what the plan was for me, and I got kicked out of that place like three months before my GCSEs. Wow. So they knew what the plan was for me, and the fact that I could go back there and say thank you, because I'm I'm here now. That was huge for me, but. It wasn't the Renault Clio and it wasn't the Tesco. It was the, all right, cool. So you put your head to it and you can get somewhere. Cool, round two. Round two is, okay, cool. I'm going to make some more money with my, money with my first bit. Okay, round two after that, sorry, was I'm working at Tesco. Now I'm going to get good, proper grades at school. Proper grades. Okay, I've got good grades now. Okay, cool. Or I'm I, even before that, sorry. Right, I want to move out. How the f*** can I move out? Okay, mum and dad, I'm literally packing a bag and going. And if I do that, I can go and get some benefits. Mm. So I did that. Obviously, benefits plus having to pay for your living costs was something I never realised. Expensive, but that was an accomplishment. I'm, do you know what it was? I was so steady at chasing accomplishment, mm. just just proving what it could have been wrong, and that's why. That's good. That's why what that was exciting. So then, it's I'm doing that. Cool. Time. To, so even when it was time to start driving, time to start driving. What? I'm 17 years old today. Give me two weeks. I'm there. I see people not getting their license for one, two, three, four. No way. I'm getting mine within two weeks, within two weeks, and I did. Mm. Just like that, you know? And for me, it was always about chasing that accomplishment. Cool, moving out. Cool, working at Tesco. Cool, I want to leave Tesco now and be self-employed. I want to do my own thing. We well, didn't leave Tesco, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I did, I did. So, o October, I left Tesco. Yeah. December, they... It's so funny though. October I left Tesco December she called me Saying yeah you're sacked Because you're taking a piss With your sick pay Which right. is <laughs> yeah. like, Sick pay to try and pay the bills But kid, it, Yeah Yeah And then that happens So yeah If I only got a paid sick If only I got paid Sick pay, sick pay every month Since then but I'd, be, I'd be rich <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah but um, But yeah it was Just so constant On chasing accomplishment I think that was just A big one That was the biggest gap Right Do you know what I mean And I think Um and I think since then, bro, I just, it's just something I've just, I'm just naturally doing. Always mm -hmm. chasing the next, not chasing the next big thing. I won't lie and say I'm ha always happy with where I am. Um, but one of the worst experiences in my life came from when I was super happy with where I was. So I want us to keep chasing. So the question is, will, will you ever be content? Cause I know you spoke about contentment earlier on. And I know you've been through like a, some people might I'll say the word traumatic when you lost everything. We were just going out having a good time. But when will you, when will you ever be like happy or content where you are? Or will you never? It depends what that looks like because I think that looks very different to me than it does for everyone else. But to you. Happy, so happy and content doesn't look like cool, the money's made, sit back and relax now because that's, that's pain. Sit back and relax is pain. I've tried it before, man. It's just not the one. And I'm thinking, right, I'm sat back, relaxed. It's too, too boring, so I'm just going to drink. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So for me, I'm not chasing content. I'll never chase content. I'll never chase happy because if you're chasing happy when you're sad, it hurts more. So for now, I'm just going to stay chasing chasing achievement, mm. whatever that may look like next. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chase achievement. I'm never going to be content. I'm never going to chase happiness mm -hmm. because I think that, the more you chase something, the further it gets, in my opinion, mm. I do. So I'll take it as it comes and I'll embrace the highs and the lows. And I think, I think, yeah, I don't ever need to stop because if I'm, the most enjoyable times, the most enjoyable times in my life are the times where, when I look back, the times where it's so stressful that I'm building, I'm building, I'm growing and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this and I'm doing it. And I'm, and right now, like I said, right at the start, I'm run down, I'm fucked, man. I'm getting ill because of this. Wow. I, I have not, to be fair, I literally just had two, two days off on this weekend, which is the first time in months and months. But but I know I'm going to look back on it and say I enjoyed it. This is a bit of a different one because there's other stresses going on. But but it's what keeps you alive. Mm. What actually keeps you alive is the fact that you're, you're, you're in, you're working, there's things coming out of your work and you're trying this and it's coming out, you're trying that and it's coming out. And I think that's a part of life that a lot of people miss out on. By just conforming to something else, and that's fine. People want to work a job; that's absolutely fine. But that thrill of I've got to do this. You want to sleep? Well, that's fine. But you got bills to pay at the end of the month. If you don't do it, you're regardless. There's no, there's no paycheck at the end of the month. It's hit it or be hit. And that's, that's so good, man. Keeps you alive, put it that way.
I like that a lot, man. And you know one thing you said, yeah, you don't chase happiness. Mm. I think you know, you know why that's so powerful, bro? Because myself and John were very big on words and where it comes from. The word happiness derives from the word happens. Mm. Happens is a present tense type of thing. So I like the fact you're not chasing happiness, right? Because happiness is a it comes and goes. Like what makes you you might be happy today, another day you might be sad. Mm. So one thing which you haven't said, but I kinda like, is that you're not chasing happiness because you're chasing something which is more long term long lasting and the, the word I use is joy because joy is like through all seasons it's still you still be joyful and even if even if you go through the season right now whereby yeah, yeah. stress is still there the joy is going to come at the other end because you know when you look back it's going to be good you know what I'm saying so joy but um, one question before we even because this is going for a minute now yeah, it's been like an hour and a half I'll be real it's been but so real it hasn't, it hasn't felt like wow, it because no. I checked my t- I said what yeah bro it's real man I want to ask you a question though how do you see money Oh, <laughs> or a better, better question actually. What's your relationship with money? Don't call me off guard, bro. <laughs> How do you see money? Right, go on. My relationship with money. You've been through a journey, bro. You went from spending a lot of it to now. You went from spending a lot of it, right? Huh? Be very careful. Mm. Be very careful with money. Okay. Your energy towards it. Yeah. How you feel about it. Yeah. And respect it. Okay. Money's not just money. Money is the root of everything. Okay. It's not all evil. Not yes. All goodness. Money is the root of absolutely everything. Any anything that happens in this world, money is the root. Expand. Money is a very powerful thing. You need to respect it. Mm. Because it's disrespected, you're in trouble. Big, big trouble. Disrespecting it looks like I'll just give an example. If you gamble, most of the time you lose it. Mm-hmm. The house always wins. Yeah. If you get if you get money if you get big money in and you spend it like an idiot unreasonably beyond your means you get punished it goes do you know what I mean I think money needs to be well respected I think money needs to be loved I think everyone needs to look at money with an abundant mindset mm-hmm. um, I think people need to be very careful how they talk about money mm-hmm. like it's an energy surrounding it yeah You, you a lot of people are brought up on negative connotations around money mm-hmm. you know and, and, and where I'm lucky and I'll be straight up I'm lucky that I didn't, I didn't. My dad done very well up in the city as a trader. Um, funny one because you know he brought me up to be, you know, like I had the worst phone, I had the worst clothes because mm. he brought me up to if you if you want to be a man, go out and make money like a man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and I appreciate that more than ever now. Um, but one thing I was never done is I was never exposed to negativity about money. I know some people in less fortunate situations are told money is the root of all evil. Those rich people, they're evil. That. Do you know? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Chasing money is gonna make you upset. Money comes and goes, all that kind of thing. You can't take it to your grave. Now that's all well and good. That's all well and good. But it sets people up to subconsciously because people hear it from when they're young, young. Sets people up to fail with it. Mm. Sets people up to fail with it. You know, some people feel like they don't deserve money when they get it. Lottery winners go completely broke. Hmm. It's, it's, it's not. It's not a. You know, it's not a. Um, not a coincidence. You know, and I feel there's a big, big part of. The reason I can do what I've done, like I said, I'm going to show you after and the world will see soon, you know, short after that. I feel there's a big reason why I can do what I've done and can continue to do now and confidently say that is because I respect money and I go, right, I have positive feelings and energy towards money and I know that it comes in, I know it's abundant Mm. and it works. So money is a, a substance to be very, very careful with, I would say. I like that. But if you love it, you'll get it. If you don't, you won't. And that's... So what type of things do you say to what what type of things do you say about money to yourself and generally like generally because obviously it's like something you respect do you talk, I, how do you, how do you talk about it I think putting it into context is like it's fine to be materialistic if you want a nice car get yourself a nice car if you want to go on a nice holiday go on a nice holiday if you want to get some fresh shoes get some fresh shoes mm. don't ever let there be a problem with that if that's what you if this is what you want if you want if you want it for other reasons then that's not good but if you want it because you want it that's really good so for me I'm like cool. I look at every single, I look at every single problem I've got right now, and I'll be real. Money would probably solve all of them. Money solves money problems. It does, one hundred. Deep, bro. 100%. Deep. But it, what it, what it, what it does is it earns you time to work on other things. Mm. People go, but you, so someone this, but this is the mindset. Someone behind there would be sat there looking at me right now, going, "Okay, Jack, well, you just said it would solve all your problems, but it wouldn't make you happier." Well, of course it would. 
because I have a lot more time to work on myself. Mm. I have a lot more time to get down to the gym. I have a lot more time to go work, go chill out with my family because I miss them. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it gives it, you freedom. It gives you it that gives freedom. You, it, yeah. gives you, it gives you freedom. It does give you freedom. I don't. I, mean, I don't know. It's a hard one. You don't want too much because then you've got no purpose or 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 no career purpose, for example. Mm. You've got nothing to keep you busy. Mm. But then again, all the billionaires are busy. So it's it's a tough one. But um, yeah, I would say. For me, I just I'm abundant with it. People, people might look at you from the outside and be like, "Wow, why are you doing so well?" Well, clearly, your mindset is the reason why. And what is mindset? It's how you set your mind. The thing is about mindset, right? A lot of people are so passive when it comes to mindset, but you have a very active choice in terms of how you see your mindset, how you actually fine tune your mindset. Because you actively told yourself, "This is gonna happen. I'm gonna put a work in. I'm gonna put a faith in. I'm gonna put a work in, and it'll come to pass." And you've done that. At such a young age so if anyone right now is watching this right now thinking hold on he's done so much can i do this too yes you can what do you need to do though you need to work on your mindset you need to work on how you set your mind because your mind sets your future i'll say that again you just you need to work on your mind because your mind sets your future mm. don't get stuck in the past set your mind be intentional be proactive and most importantly put the work in like a brother did man but oh, man i don't want to end this man but it's been real let me say one thing on that though one please do please do people yeah the life you want to live sits behind the work you really don't want to do. And that's a big one. Oof, say that again? The life you want to live sits behind the work you really don't want to do. Mm. Or the work that you're not doing. Real life. Real life, man. Real life. Example of that very quickly. In your own life where you want to, you had a goal, mm. you want to put the work in, you put the work in and you got the goal. Okay. P- perfect example. Perfect example, right? I'm, I'm the owner of two multi-million pound businesses and a few other big ones yeah i hire people to do work and jobs that i don't want to be doing because mm. i feel like i'm at that level in the business yeah just that's it there's work that i don't want to be doing that's packing that's communicating with suppliers that's ordering that's sat there responding to reviews yeah the new opportunity that comes that i'm talking about to both of you that started two months ago yeah there was a lot of work involved in that that i had to do because it's not a business I owned. It's something new. It's a potential. This could go well. Mm. You can't hire people based on what could go well. This is a new thing. So what am I going to do? Am I going to give it a crack? And I'm doing groundwork. I'm sat there at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, responding to customers. And, and bro, I'll be real, that's not within my remit of what I want to do, but it's passion and it's work that I had to put in. Mm. I want to be sleeping, man. I want to be a couple of bottles of white wine deep and, and mm. chilling, do you know what I mean? And mm. on the beach somewhere. But that is work that, I definitely don't want to be doing because I got to do that plus everything else when I wake up and run the business. But, you know, the results came out the other end of it and it's further proof to me that, Jack, when you pull your finger out and you get over it and you actually go head first into it, the results come again. You get it done. So get it done it. indeed, man. Do your best to, anyway. So last question before we end up, right? And we can't, we can't answer it throughout the whole thing, but hmm. the question is, is Jack... At peace. I'm gonna change the question because I don't like, I don't like the word happy. Is Jack at peace with where he is right now? Yeah, weirdly. Yeah, really weirdly. Weirdly. Why is that? Cause it feels uneasy. Feels stressful. Feels ill. It feels yeah. It feels just a bit mad. It's just taxing on the body. But I'm at peace with where I am because I know where it's gonna take me. Because <laughs> the vision's clear enough. Right. Mm-hmm. Without vision, man, there isn't. Without vision, there's no future. Take mm-hmm. if, if if you if you give me a knock around the head right now and I forgot all my goals, I'll be like tomorrow morning when I go to work, what am I doing it? If I didn't want all that stuff, honestly, it would be I wouldn't do it. Mm. So I think having that that clear vision is it's the most important thing. Clear but obsessed. Clear but obsessed. John, anything to say, bro? What's the thoughts, brother? As we as we look off, very good episode. I appreciate it. Very very good episode. And it's been long overdue as well. Definitely. Man. And I'm very happy with the fact that you're very open as well. The stuff that you talked about, mm. even from the therapy to the business mm. to the inner workers of the business to the other businesses and everything like that, I appreciate it. Mm. It's my pleasure, I appreciate the opportunity, guys. I love that, man. Before we and go, how did you find it as well? Yeah, yeah. nice, man. Yeah. Natural, bro. I'm looking at Proper. that, thinking, where has that gone? Bro, <laughs> honestly, man, Jono, let's do something quite different. Let's do something a bit different. I want to ask your take. One big takeaway for you, okay, for this episode. One big takeaway for me: the compound effect. Mm. Like I already knew about the compound effect. I already know what it is, right? But then just like another confirmation of the compound effect. Yeah. Yeah. And then having that vision and testing the vision before you even have it. Yeah. So like experiencing your future before you even get there. Because funny enough, like driving a car that I want to get 
is what I'm planning. I'm planning to do it with JJ as well in a set. Mm. Like we're gonna go to get um a, probably like some dealership or something like that and drive a couple cars that we want, and then see a, an apartment that we want to live in. I was just telling you about the Canary Wharf apartments. They're looking nice. Yeah, 100%. living them at one point. Test it out, see what it's looking like. I literally, funny enough, yesterday um, I was at an event ad week. I met this lovely lady called Lucinda, mm. right? She works for an agency. Um, Andre, like he runs it and everything like that. Not Andre Spencer, different Andre. And she just gave me the number of the um, the guy that does the uh, is it the estate agent? Yeah, the estate agent for that the buildings in Canary Wharf. Wow. So now I've got that. I can give him a shout and have a look at the properties, bro. Like, and I can make it happen. So yeah, just like experiencing the dream before you get there. That's one of them, and also the compound effect. Like the different businesses coming together to create one beast, mm-hmm. and pushing through it as well, and getting in the trenches. Like I know getting in the trenches is so necessary. And so okay, it's not one takeaway. Oh, please, bro. The importance of therapy and the importance of understanding yourself and how you work as well. Biggest. Because you said that you went like before the the big big journey started. You went back to that CBT guy. Like you went back to him and said, "Look, like I've done all of this." He's like, "What?" Like hearing, I'm assuming he was like, "What? What's going on?" When you told him the numbers and everything like that, and then he helped you get even further. Or you helped you get even further. Yeah, that's it. That is, I say, my takeaways. What about yourself, bro? Bro, there's so many takeaways from this episode, man. I mean, I'll say a couple. One of them for sure is the power of community, because you what you had 26k in the bank account, mm. and when Shout out Jake. Big up Jake, man. When he joined, you went up to 200, you, you made 210K in literally a couple hours, which is incredible to me. It just it just reminded to me that community is important mm-hmm. to win. Another thing I learned from this episode too is that you're in the right place for the right season at the right time. Mm-hmm. You're in the right place for the right season at the right time. You were in Tesco, hmm. do something you don't want to do. Hmm. And guess what? That very same environment was the place, was the, was the, was the incubation to get you to where you, where, to get you where you are today. Without Tesco, you wouldn't be here. You would not be where you are today. Potentially, why? Because Tesco enabled you to get your feet wet in the areas of retail arbitrage, which then helps you to continue to do Amazon FBA. And for me, on my journey, it's just beautiful to understand that I'm in where I am for a specific reason. You guys already know what I went through recently. So for me to win that battle, still be there, it's just necessary for me to be like, okay, cool, Robert, here for a reason. Get what you need to get out of it, enjoy it, and see what happens next. And you've done that, and I feel like it's quite t- for me personally, it's quite timely that you you're here talking about that after what I've been through. Mm. So thank you, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. And what's your takeaways, bro? Um, also, I know you've been part of the whole journey, you know, the whole whole timeline. What's your biggest takeaway? Yeah, no, I mean, um, <laughs> sorry, bro. No, it's like reliving some of the things easy to forget so for example mm. one of the biggest things that jack was saying about is um the achievement from the people refer unit to cleo for example with myself i'm never satisfied mm. but when i look back where i've come from yeah and I look, if i were to look ahead at where i am now yeah I'm so proud. Mm-hmm. wow so i'm not currently because i'm always pushing going forward <coughs> that- that's another episode in itself, man. How to be content in the moment whilst not being content. That's so, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. But, but no, happy but not satisfied. Happy but not But even happy's not good enough, though. But it's weird. Bro, it's weird. It's weird. But all we will say is this, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for that output. No, thank you for sharing, Jake. Like, what do you learn from this? I know you're speaking, bro, but you're kind of reacting, re- re- reliving and reenacting your life. What do you learn from What's your biggest takeaway from this, bro? I think it's takeaway. My biggest takeaway from this, and I appreciate it massively, guys, is sit down and talk. Mm. Mm. Nice, man. Oh. You enjoy yourself? Well, I'll be real. Like I said, it's been a mad few months. It's been yeah. a mad few months. And just to sit down and just talk about it, remind myself why I'm doing it. Yeah. Remind, remind myself where I came from. Yeah. And remind myself, you know, what the purpose is. And to voice that. Yeah. That's deep, man. There's conversations you have inside your head, but they're, they're not really centric. Yeah, you know, like that. you. This is this is this. Is, the world's gonna know that your and not even the world. Forget the world. You know now, mm. your purpose is to level the playfield for people. That's powerful, man. Have you thought about that before? I have done, but it still doesn't make sense to me when I say it out loud. Mm. Level the playing field. That's deep. That's so. That's that. Cause you know what? Every time, and there's no offense to anyone who who's <laughs> been on the podcast. Everyone always says to help people. I'm like yes, everyone. I believe everyone's on. Everyone's honest. I tell people, full stop. But one thing myself and John say, everyone has different layers to do that. So like, 
everyone's purpose on this earth is to help people. My purpose is to enable people to speak with the confidence that they've been put on this earth to have. You know my story. Mm-hmm. I could speak it to us four years old, speech therapy to us ten. With John, with, with myself and John, we've been able to touch millions of people's of lives. My purpose is very simple: to help people speak with confidence, mm-hmm. and that's more than just helping people. It's specific to what I need to do, and yours is like so beautiful because it's actually um, yeah specific. What's your purpose, bro? My purpose is to inspire people positively. It's more specific than just helping people. It's How? More specific. Through inspiring them. Inspiring people to live a more positive life I and mean, improve themselves. I, s- I was even speaking to my therapist about this today. Deeper. Like, Deeper. And we're literally talking about like, what is my purpose? Like literally to inspire, like help people live better lives. Like I just like to pour into people mm. whatever value I can give, whether it's like business advice, whether it's like just mindset, mindset advice. Because everything starts from here, bro. Come on, bro. Everything starts from here. Come honestly. On honestly like even just just small improvements in anything and that's the f- that's why i like to feel the appreciation reciprocated yes. like yeah. whatever energy is being given i like to feel it reciprocated in those kind of scenarios and yeah. those kind of situations but anyway it doesn't always it doesn't always go that way but yeah that's what i'd say bro well you know what on this on these sides here this is all about brotherhood right now because i know you guys appreciate each other deeply we appreciate each other deeply mm-hmm. so guys find people who appreciate you deeply and keep them close man because trust me this world is there's, there's too many bad people in this world, man. Find people who are good and keep them close, man. I was in Thailand five, six months, six months ago, with me and the missus. I was by myself. Where was she? Yeah. Where was she? Swimming. Oh, I was just sat down reading, and I and I and I'm, I'm reading a book now. If you never, if you never read it, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Heard of it? Oh, bro, um, Richard Covey. Get it in. Honestly, Amazing. Another level. And then he mentioned someone about writing a eulogy. Obviously, he looked up what eulogy was at that point. I'm thinking, I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Writing a eulogy, right? It is the most, one of the. It was one of the most gut wrenching, heart wrenching things you'll ever do. But your eulogy is essentially you write it down how you want to be remembered, and when you do that, you will f- for certain pick out things that don't align with how you live in your life. <laughs> I want to be remembered for this. I want to be remembered to be this kind of person, that kind of person, that kind of person, that kind of person. I did mine and thought. I mean, I need to spend more time with my family. Mm. Damn. This, 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 this needs to go to the episode, by the way. Well, this is mean, deep. Did you spend more time with your family after that? No. Damn. I mean, it's, I mean it's not, it's still, it's still time. There is. There is. But again, it's the to and fro of, right, spend the time with my family now and let other things slide or give me a year to mash work on my business. Then we're free. We're fucking off, man. But you know what's crazy, Jack? Like, God willing, you see many, many years, but you don't know how many you got, bro. You're not wrong. It's true, no. bro. All the people that, bro, God willing, your the people around you see many years, but you don't know how long they got, bro. It's true. It's not wrong. It's and that's good. something that I think about all the time as well. Like, I am always have my head down on whatever. Rob, you have your head down a lot as well. But we can't, we can't spend time with our people. Man. We're not in charge. We're not in charge of when people are here, when people are not here. Mm. So it's hard. The balance is difficult, man. Trying to figure out when to look after your people, be around your people, but also at the same time, try, try, try and pursue your goals. Mm. It's difficult, man. And, hey, we're all... Everyone here is 23, 22. We're young. We're still trying to figure it out, man. So it's like, it's still, we we to cast up, we to give ourselves grace to figure it out, man, because it's not easy, man. But just get that balance, bros. Come on. That's and with that, people, I want to wish you all a wonderful day, evening, morning. Anytime you're watching this, just have a good one. All right. Jack, thank you very much for coming on. Rob, thank you very much for being here. Come on, man. You're always here <laughs> with myself. <laughs> and people, that is a wrap. Come on.